M0FXB, there's new firmware for the Radto RT950 Pro here. So we're just going to click it. I'll put the link in the description. There's the files. I'll drag the one I want to use to my desktop, which is in a gap there on the right. It will appear there in a second. And the README is just here. And you want to go down to 24. Fixed issue where channel names are not displayed in small font. Add zone name display on the main interface. Change the number of areas to 10. Um, the number of channels per area to 99. Fix the CTCSS decoding bug. Spectrum interface. Change center frequency to small font and current frequency to large. Add left right adjustment for center frequency in the spectrum mode. Add left right keys in radio mode for adjustment by minimum step frequency. Fix the issue where APRS is not sent correctly on the first boot, not sent via the configured APRS channel. Add standby indicator light, green light blinks every five seconds after the screen is off. OK. Fix the issue where work and band does not automatically switch based on frequency in spectrum mode. Optimized RSSI table display in spectrum mode. In radio mode, increase AM steps frequency by 9K. OK, well, we've got the radio connected here. Just turn it on and off. You'll find you don't even have to even put it into firmware mode. Frequency mode. Just get your cable on and then find out what your comm number is. Right click device manager. And my comm number. Is eight. There you are. And I'll put the link in with the cable, but it screws on the side. I know some people think they're annoying, but the good thing is you can still hear the radio when the, when that one's on uh, and then double click the firmware updating program there are videos and instructions available available so click the update click more info run this is the update program choose that file that we put on the desktop so three dots click and that's always at the bottom there are version 24 Put the com number in which is eight so file com number and then you click upgrade mode and it does everything for you which is quite nice and the radio displays i want to stretch the cable too much but it basically displays update mode and it's doing it now we'll let that update let's go back to the software cps the the, the latest one here is showing for the pro model is 1201. I'll click that. And they are different for the pro. Click mode run anyway. Yes. And then we'll go next. I probably already got this, but you know, it just means I'm going to have the latest software. Right, that's done. All done. So what I'm going to do now is just grab my. I've got the knife. Still got the nine fifty here, which I'm holding. Um, same cable, and it's still a good radio. The nine fifty it just doesn't have the HF built in. It was, or it is, a lower price. Uh, nine fifty firmware we want now. Nine fifty. Yeah, that's not pro. That one is pro. It will tell you if you do the wrong one. So I'm going to delete that previous one. Double click 950. And just do exactly the same thing. Let's me open. There it is there. Read me. I wonder if that's the same. 950. And that's showing 29. So less showing here. Spectrum interface fixed. Spectrum functionality add 5 kilohertz steps. Backlight off option. Someone asked me about that the other day about a backlight off option. Enabled independent configuration of the PF1 and PTC. PTC function. Added menu for DTMF code. Added the ability to customize zones. Improved stability for APRS. Yeah, I think I see I've done this one. I'm just going to put it in anyway. More info. Run anyway. Exactly the same process. Select that one and uh, where is it let's find it okay there it is 
double click, I put it there, look. Com 8, upgrade. It says program on the radio. It's trying. There it goes, just had to tighten the cable a bit. So thanks for watching. It's a great radio. Bye for now.